so welcome and welcome back to my channel guys this is jb23 vlog so for today's video guys i would like to share how to carry out the water washing of the turbocharger at the compressor side so the criteria for washing guys at the compressor side of the turbocharger is that first we have to run the engine as close to full load as possible and the cleaning process is only to be carried out when the engine is at operating temperature as you can see guys our engine load is 67 to 70 percent at about 770 kilowatt to 800 kilowatt so here are the steps for cleaning so first the engine is as high load as possible then discharge the excess pressure in the container by drawing out the spindle in the safety valve as you can see guys that is the container then before loosening the top cover the spindle returns automatically by means of a built-in spring so this is the container guys that we have to fill up two liters of water then we have to pressurize pressurize by pumping as you can see that handle from the top is for pumping to create pressure then we have to mount the top cover on the container then pump air into the container with the handle and the top cover the safety valve of this container guys will open at a pressure of 4 bar the excess pressure will discharge through the safety valve so as soon as the excess pressure will come out from that safety valve then we have to connect the plug-in coupling to the lens to the snap coupling on the pipe that is from the turbocharger compressor side then depress the handle on the hand valve until the water is completely injected into the compressor approximately 30 seconds the water will enter the compressor in the atomized condition impinge the veins of the compressor wheel with the high velocity and thus wash off the dirt deposits then release the plug-in coupling and vent the container by drawing the spindle out of the safety valve as you can see guys i am connecting now the plug into the coupling of the lens of the snap coupling in the pipe then i am releasing now the pressure so the water will be completely injected to the compressor side at approximately 30 seconds the water will completely injected so this maintenance guys is to be done in according according to observation when you see that there is a difference in charge air pressure or the drop of the pressure of the scavenging air charge air then that means that we have to clean the compressor wheel by this procedure guys the last step guys is to run the engine for minimum 10 minutes at an altered high load until here guys i hope you learned something from this video and please don't forget to hit the like share and subscribe bye bye